Jess delivers eggs to a hotel. She uses trays to deliver the eggs. Small trays hold 30 eggs and large trays hold 50 eggs. Jess will deliver 380 eggs to the hotel. She will completely fill each tray she uses with eggs. How many trays should she use? Write your answer in the boxes below and then we're going to need to show a check of our working. Um, there are lots of different ways of answering this question and there are lots of different answers that you could have. Um, I'm going to pick just one of the ways but there are, there, are, there are lots of ways and I'll show you how to check your answer so you, if you've got a different answer you can check your own. Um, I'm going to take 380 which is the total number of eggs she's got and I'm going to divide it by how many eggs a large tray holds. Now the reason I'm doing that is because if you think about it one way I'm taking my big pile of eggs, I'm taking 380 eggs and I'm splitting it into bunches of 50 and the reason that's good is because however many bunches of 50 I get that's how many large trays I'll need. So 380 divided by 50 that tells me that I'll need, I get 7.6 bunches, I get 7.6 pile, smaller piles of eggs and I'll need 7.6 large trays. However, um, she says she'll completely fill each tray she uses so I can't have a 0.6 of a tray. So let's take it down. Let's say I use seven big trays. Well seven big trays uh, each tray holds 50 eggs, so 7 big trays times how many eggs they each hold will give me how many eggs 7 trays can hold, uh, which is 350. So that number there is how many eggs 7 trays could hold. Now if I'm holding... actually let me just write that down. How... Ooh, don't mean to shout. How many eggs 7 trays hold? Uh, but I don't have 350 eggs, I've got 380. So how many more eggs do I uh, need to find a tray for? Well, 380 minus 350 is 30. So I have 30 eggs left over. Eggs left over. And nice and conveniently, that is one small tray's worth. So if I use seven large trays, and one small tray, oops, and one small tray, that should hold 380 eggs. Now like I said, I'll show you how to check your answer in case yours is different to mine. And I'm, I'm going to check my answer the same way. So one small tray, that's one lot of 30. So that one small tray holds 30 eggs. Uh, and then I've also got seven lots of 50. I've got seven large trays and each large tray holds 50. So 7 times 50. That's how many tray, That's how many eggs, sorry, my large trays hold altogether. So if I add this number, the number of eggs in a large tray to the number of eggs in a small tray, in all of my small trays, it gets me 380, which is good. That's the number of eggs she's looking for. So to check your answer, take your small trays, times it by 30, that's the number of eggs your small trays are holding. Take your number of large trays, times that by 50, that's the number of eggs your large trays holding, and if you add them together, it should be exactly 380. Okay, well part B of this question, we've been asked to check our answer. So as always, if I'm being asked to check an answer, I think it's really good to set out your working out box uh, so that it's really clear to anyone looking at it that this is where you're answering part B. This is where I'm checking my answer. Now to do a check, you take something you've done in your working out, I'm just going to choose this because it's the first thing that's there. Um, and you want to do a reverse calculation. So what I mean by that. I'll go into my calculator. I'm going to times... I'm going to take 7.6, which was my answer from before. And that's now the first thing I'm putting into my calculator. It was a division before, and it's a reverse calculation, so I now need to do the opposite. And I'm just going to follow this whole thing backwards. So 7.6, it's now a times... If I times it by 50, the next number along, my answer should be 380, if I've done everything right. And that's why it's a check. If I do 7.6 times 50 and it's something different to 380, that means I've done something wrong. So 7.6 times 50, it does equal 380, which means that this particular part of my working out that I just checked is correct. So three marks for that first part, finding out how many trays you need, and then an extra mark for checking your working.